Hey everyone, welcome back to the Living in Maryland channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. And today we are doing another new home video tour of a brand new construction colonial single family property located in Elkridge, Maryland, which is part of Howard County, uh, Maryland. Now it's also just minutes away from Anne Arundel County. So this property is ideally located and very centrally located to so many different things. So you're probably just about uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, uh, no more than that to the inner harbor of Baltimore. You're about 15 minutes from BWI International Airport. Um, you are about 20 minutes from Fort Meade and all the different uh, various types of government and government contracting jobs right there in Central Maryland. And then you're probably about 50 minutes or so, uh, depending on traffic, to DC. So um, it's really hard to beat this location. Um, and Howard County is very well known for its schools, so a lot going um, in this location for this property. Now, this property is priced currently at $750,000. Uh, one quick thing to note about this property is that it is uh, it does not have a basement. So a lot of homes tend uh, to have basements in this part of Maryland. So that's one thing to keep in mind about this property. It is 2,750 square feet. So it's got some good size to it. Um, and then now we're gonna jump into the video tour. I'm gonna explain some more things about the area as well as the property as we walk you through the tour. Um, as always, I am a licensed realtor here in the state of Maryland. Absolutely love helping you all with your buying and selling real estate needs here in the area. So if you ever need anything at all, please feel free to reach out at the information on your screen. You can also find it in the description below. And let's get started with the video tour. Hey everyone, we are back here again uh, for another new home video tour. We are in Elk Ridge, which is in Howard County, Maryland. Um, and we are actually uh, right on the edge of Howard County, just about 90 seconds away uh, from Anne Arundel County. So great Howard County schools, um, but also putting you very close to all that Central Maryland has to offer as far as all the government work, Fort Meade, um, everything going on um, close nearby at Arundel Mills with the mall, uh, the casino, all the entertainment. Um, so great location here. This is a brand new home built in 2023. Um, and built in an existing community. So I'm gonna kind of turn you around here. There are some new homes. There's also some older homes uh, built in the 60s, 70s, 80s. So um, you kind of got a little bit of a mix of it all. Now this home is four bedrooms, three and a half baths. One of the cool things about this home is on the upper level, you'll see um, that multiple bedrooms have um, a uh, kind of connected full bath, which is nice and convenient. So, um, and then one thing to note about this home is that there is no basement. So that's something to be aware of as well. Um, nice upgraded driveway here. And then we'll walk you around the back as well. Um, and everything is new. You got a Bryant uh, HVAC system here. And then you've got a little bit of a larger lot because this is not in a actual development. It's nice. You get almost uh, 0.2 acres here. So a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a yard, some more space than you get in your typical new uh, home communities here in the area. So, all right, so we're going to get started and we're going to walk in and get going with this tour. So walking in the front door here, we do have a pretty wide entryway here. Um, we've got uh, luxury vinyl plank flooring here, um, flowing in to the main level living space. Got a good sized living room here with a gas fireplace. Got nine foot ceilings, very spacious. And then we've got um, the flow right into the kitchen space here. Oversized tile, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. Um, there is natural gas in this home, so you've got the gas stove, um, which I know is <laughs> preferable for most people when it comes to cooking. Nice oversized kitchen here. We've got LG oven and microwave combo. Also great natural light in this home. 
Uh, plenty of recessed lighting. And lots of storage. So we've got storage down here as well as the cabinets back against the wall. And a nice uh, high-end refrigerator as well. So then walking in here, because there is no basement, you're going to have all your utility stuff um, here on the main level. So we've got a Bryant uh, HVAC system. It is a gas furnace owned by Carrier, so it's, it's very similar to a Carrier system. Um, and then you've got PVC drain lines. You've got a natural gas uh, instant hot water heater, tankless water heater, which is nice. Never owned one, but I've heard, heard good things. <laughs> so here's that, tankless water heater. Um, all right, cool. And then PVC piping throughout for your supply lines. And then I'm going to walk you back here to the front door. So, and then to the left here, we've got a main level study. Now this could be a fifth optional bedroom. door here this goes through so we've got storage this is underneath the stairs going up so you've got some storage here which is nice and then directly across is going to be the main level powder room half bath here And then making our way through there, we've got the kitchen to our left here. And then we've got uh, some storage back here. We're being watched, so good security system. <laughs> and then we've got uh, kind of a cable room. This could be a closet. Okay. Nice slow close cabinetry and then we've got the garage right here we've got nice uh, finished insulated garage which is nice so it's going to stay a little cooler in the summer and it's going to stay um, a little warmer in the winter which is nice i personally um do not have an insulated garage like this or a finished garage in um, you can really tell um, in the winter and the summer just how, uh, how hot and how cold it gets. So we've got the electrical panel here in the garage. Hook up for um, electric vehicles. <clears throat> and a lift master here for the two car garage opener. Right, and then making our way upstairs, we do have hardwood steps going up. Nice big window here. Giving you nice natural light here in the uh, stairwell. And then right at the top here, um, we do have a pull down attic access, which is nice and convenient. If you ever have the need to get up there, a lot easier than having to grab a ladder and uh, get up through a cutout. So that's nice. Now on the back side of the house here, we've got uh, two bedrooms as well as um, a hall bath here. Standing shower only here. And then this um, also has, this bedroom has a shared door to that bathroom. So that's convenient for, for this room. So here's the door to that bathroom we just saw. And then here's the closet door that we can take a look at. A 
Fisher's Closet. And then making our way to the other side, we've got upper level laundry, which is nice. Then we've got linen closet. And then we've got bedroom number two, which is on the back side of the house as well. This one does have a connected full bath, which is nice. And then a step-in closet here. These bedrooms do have uh, hookups for TVs. They got the elevated outlets and the cable ran, which is nice. And then we've got the full bath standing shower. So that wraps up bedroom number two. Then we're gonna make our way to the front of the home. And this is gonna be bedroom number three. This is really the only bedroom up here that does not have either a connected ensuite uh, or direct access to a full bath. So and then you've got the double door closet here. Then making our way to the primary, we do have two additional closet spaces here. <clears throat> and stepping into the primary, this is on the front of the house. Very spacious, ceilings are about eight feet here on the upper level. sized uh, walk-in closet here ready to go with storage and then the primary bath single vanity but it is a long vanity lots of counter space lots of storage here oversized tile as well as a standing shower and tub And then in the back here, we do have another little closet here next to the toilet. All right, now we're gonna step out into the backyard. We are back here on the main level off the kitchen and living room. You've got a nice, Nice yard here with a patio and a built-in fire pit. They did some good job with the mulching. The landscaping is nice. And again, kind of a nice, nice spacious yard here. This is back out to the front. There is a slight slope here but it's it's pretty subtle so it's a very usable yard and then you do have some trees here nice fall colors um, but the nice part you can probably hear that plane in the background BWI Baltimore Washington International Airport is probably only about 10 to 15 minutes from here can see that southwest plane flying here so you are going to hear some planes it's not going to be constant but you are going to hear some planes in this uh part of the area um, and that just kind of comes with the territory the nice part is is if you are a traveler if you do utilize flying a lot and you do you do that kind of stuff um, you are so close to bwi here which is nice so great yard 
Um, got a 30 year architectural shingle on there. And again, this home is brand new, built in 2023. Move in ready. If you guys have any questions about buying, selling a home here in the great state of Maryland, please feel free to reach out anytime. My information uh, will be on your screen as well as in the description. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Talk to you soon.